no matter what I say, only God is my witness. I never got two million shillings. Miguna says I went with Baba to, to Seychelles. God is my witness. I've never been to Seychelles with Baba. You know, Sonko says I had a relationship with him. God is my witness. I never did. So the thing is, I want, I want people to understand that not everything. You see, we are in a new dispensation of social media. And so social media can character assassinate and can destroy like this. But no. the thing is, it's not always 100%. As I said, the, the, the nominee for, uh, for, for, for health. Already people are giving her relationships that she doesn't have, okay, and bringing her down with that. Let me tell you something. When you are having a separation with your wife because you had irreconcilable differences and then you decide let's get back together again for the children, you're not going to be able to sustain that marriage if from morning till evening all you're talking about are all the issues you had before. You there comes a time. This is a time. There comes this a time. This time it's the children who are talking. It yeah. is not. Yes, a, it is not. Yes. A, it and I'm glad. A, and I'm glad that you say it's the children. But let me tell you something. I once came on X and Boniface Mwangi was on X and the language that he was using, the language that he was using, I actually had to get out of stay X. In Parliament, so the Esther. thing is, the well, thing is, I want, I want us to understand something. When we dialogue with each other, right, we have to be able to talk to each other, not at each other. But no. And I think the president is willing to listen. And let's let's engage him on his space <laughs> and on your space and let's try and no. take bite-sized I think we have bite-sized steps. Well, just move oh, forward. Yeah. Yes. I, I think this politics has become very untidy. And unfortunately, uh, Raila Odinga is, has in the past two months uh, destroyed the legacy he had built. Um, I, of course, they are, they are like, like uh, Esther says, they are always critics. But he had been reasonably steadfast in terms of um, being a very strong opposition leader. But in this, he has misstepped because he has put his interests first. There is no, we don't have a unity problem. We have a governance problem. And um, the, the issues that he has now stated are the right issues, but they are not a precursor to a government of national unity. That was never a problem. We have an illegitimate government. And why is this government illegitimate? Because the president has violated um, the basis on which he was elected. He needs actually, because he is not pursuing his manifesto, because he's been unable to, and he has then come up with policies that are injurious to the country and also do not support the reason people... You've heard the, the young people saying, we voted for you, but we, you have turned around and done something else. And then he has, he has sanctioned the killing of youth. So it is not national unity. It is actually what Kalonzo is saying. Kalonzo is right. Uh, the president has lost the legitimacy to rule, but our constitution... We are stuck. We are not able to impeach him. We are not able to move to a kind of interim arrangement where these fundamental issues can be dealt with. So I really support what Kalonzo Musioka is doing. And I believe, even on X space, this has been articulated, that we need a citizen proce protest and process. And the problem with this dialogue, it's not really dialogue. The president, even when he campaigned, said, oh, we'll be having dialogues with citizens. And in fact, I'll have an annual dialogue in every, I think he said, constituency or whatever. But what he meant mm -hmm. is he wants to go and campaign and sell his po policies because he doesn't listen. Well, um, so the point is this. Let us recognize our, we, our country has a fundamental problem of a political elite that um, has really ravaged the, our governance and economic systems. Mm -hmm. Too much corruption, mm -hmm. too much state capture, wrong policies, so that a majority of the population are not able to benefit. On the other hand, how do we move from this governance failure to a new mm -hmm. governance as envisioned by Gen Z? The last point I'll make, successful states are built on the dreams and aspirations of the young. the young. So it is not for us who are more jaded, who are unable to transform the system, to say, oh, it can't be done. The question we should be asking is, how do we join this process and make sure it happens? Mm -hmm. Because if it doesn't happen, we're going to be like mm -hmm. Mexico on the and same Ecuador, place. Mm -hmm. where you'll be shot trying to campaign because the level of criminality in this country is going up. The level of criminality in our political office is going up. That is why politicians can afford to hire goons to go and disrupt peaceful protesters? That is the question you should be asking. On the same breath, this is what Mbadi said as far as the whole issue of the debate and what next for Kenya is concerned.
We need discussion. We need conversation. We must decide where Kenya is going. All the is a big party. We cannot just be passive participants. We must also talk about the future of this country. And you cannot tell us that the presidency of Ruto will come down. How? And if it comes down, what is the solution? If Ruto today resigns, it is Keshago who is going to be president. Is he a better option? To me, I say no. Keshago is worse than Ruto. He is a tribalist. He said Kenya is a company with shareholders where we don't go. What are we really looking? What think, are, we, are, really, are, think, are, are we really dealing with? I think with we're here? being we're being very <laughs> preposterous in in our approach to this discussion, and people do not seem to understand what the young people mean by Ruto must go. I do not know why 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 that is very difficult to understand. We've chosen that as the hashtag to push because we believe that the government currently is corrupt, it lacks accountability, no transparency, and it hires on cronism. When we say Ruto must go, I do not know why people believe that it is only the person William Ruto. We are talking about the presidency. So because the political class has failed us countless times, what we are now saying is, please rush that reconstitutional process. Because even if you, when you saw um, uh, Right Honorable Raila's uh, whatever he put out, he does not address this movement as a Gen Z movement. Suddenly it becomes an inclusive movement. And what consistently we've said, the political class has taken our relived reality and used it as talking points. So now they've taken whatever it is that we've been putting out on social media and they're going to say them in chambers for, for them to sound cool, for them to gain political mileage. Because before we started speaking, they never were saying these things. What we are trying to do is to drain the swamp and clean up whatever, we have, whatever this rot is we have administratively. We want that entire presidency to go if they will not shape up. And we are willing to have a caretaker government, to the speaker take over 60 days, and we go into a fresh election. A fresh el general election is cheaper than the amount of money we lose to corruption in a week in this country. That is why I will not take this nonsense from the political class trying to lie to us that the country is going to be in, in, in shambles, while they are already systemically killing us already. Part of what we've asked for is goodwill. And for us, it is very easy. We've never clamored for power. We've already told the president, as a show of goodwill, release us unconditionally. Let the people, the killer cops who have, cons and we will see them tomorrow because we saw them last week on Thursday. Get those people off. When a police officer is attacking me like a bandit, I do not understand what that is about. We well, want those pain points to be addressed. We are not here to play politics. We are not here to try and ask, so who is vying for what? And I feel like the media is doing an unfair job trying to box this into the Kawaida tribal politics because that is how uh -huh. the youth have consistently been locked out of these broad-based discussions. I have not once seen any youth bodies talked to, but civil societies already received uh, writings from external organizations to ask them, how have you spent the money, instead of government writing directly to them. Curiously enough, the youth groups were not uh, addressed by, by those, by like Ford Foundation when we talk about it. It's a ploy to divide the country while they're out here talking about unity. They are consistently sowing division and deceit. That's Rabba what we're, we're talking about. You know, it's believed that you know, the, the remaining slots you know, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I meant for Zimio. I have no, Is it time, I, I, you perhaps? know, I'm not, I'm not privy to that information. That's on the level of uh, Rai Laudinga <laughs> and uh, Ruto and the he's discussion. Your party leader. But you know, he's my party leader. But I'm not privy to the discussions. I'm not on the table with that on those discussions. But what I do understand is Raila has got the fact that Ruto has actually uh, Kenya Kwanzaa has actually failed uh, to satisfy the populace. And don't forget, he also holds 50 percent of the population. So in 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 that respect, when he comes in and says, I had a manifesto as well. 
you've not dealt very well with, uh, with uh, NHIF, you've not dealt very well with unemployment, uh, you've not dealt very well with cost of living, which Azimio has always stood for. So if it means that I take a few of the government slots so that we can help you govern from within rather than from outside. But he's jumping it's in same, after we have been same, killed, right, Honorable so yeah, Pasaris. No, the thing is, yes, uh, uh, you know what I would like as, as we have agreed to see your list of, uh, of, of uh, uh, proposed names. So we should names, anticipate right? to see I some think, I, think, members I think the government the right cabinet. now, the government right now, Ruto needs to have the government in place. You know, I, I, I heard Kasma here say, talking about the fact that, oh, we've managed in the last two weeks without, without CSS. Our, our legislation, our constitution cannot work without the CSS. So, and the Pasar, you've hinted so, at Azimio having some of its members as CSS. You, you know, no, I mean, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm, from, that's, within. From, within. Uh, from within. You see, the thing is, if, if, if for instance, uh, Baba had his own manifesto but this was and not he talked about revolution. clustering, it wasn't our revolution, absolutely. That's but don't forget, but don't forget. Why would they this? jump no, in? Yeah, yeah, you see, the thing is, it's true, but you see, when you're faceless, when you're leaderless, when you're, when you're tribeless, and when you're. You, you, you know, no, and formless. Okay, so all those things. I would love it's Gen Z. I would love Gen Z to identify its face. No way. And then we at do the not same need time, to identify okay, our face because we've us, asked you to identify us, the face of corruption. All right. And so you have not. Azimir is hijacking the Gen no, 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 Z. No, no, no. I don't believe that Azimir is hijacking. But Baba, but don't forget. This is not don't revolution. forget. Even those Gen Zs. You know, and I keep telling people. I keep telling people that ODM was incorporated in 2005. All right. If you look at the average age of ODM, it's 19.5, which is actually covering so and representing Pasar, all the Ruto's agencies. So, Ruto's problems will be solved right. by having as No, board. I believe that Ruto's problems will be solved by actually listening to the constructive criticism of, of Gen Z's. But we, have we been need to put. We need to first of all release. All, you know, all the demands that they've made are really reasonable. All right, and they need to be dealt with. But the fact is, the unreasonable part of the demands of Gen Z's is to paralyze the economy every week. What and by so doing, by, so, by so doing, of. they're actually messing up the country. Right now, Kenya was doing so well in terms of hosting conferences. But, but you are also right? doing so well in terms no, of corruption. No, no, the they're peaceful is, while you know, they're, they're, you know what? The problem is, I, I was in ODM. You know, recently when we came into uh, into uh, government again, when we when we when we government was formed in 2022. The ODM was still not satisfied and they were going on the streets. I couldn't get my heart to go on the streets because I saw w the cost of that in 2017 and I do not want to see a life loss. So I didn't but want that. the difference that. here so is I that didn't. the Gen Z's they are went, peaceful. They went peacefully and I'll tell you one thing, that is something we have to look at as a country. We have to look at that as a country. And I really want to see accountability because at the end of the day, if you, if you send uh, police with live ammunition to a protest, Right? Then you're obviously going to have people killed. Gikonyo, and that is wrong. As yeah, we begin yeah. to end up, Gikonyo.